Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David. Let's look at the latest update of my Diagostini Build Your Own X-Wing model kit. We would be honored if you would join us. The update is I'm almost done. Almost done in the home stretch. Taking it a little bit at a time, getting there. Uh, I really only have a couple things left to do and then I'm finished and I've cheated along the way. There's been some stuff that just didn't snap in place or stay in place and I've super glued it. It's the, it's the dad thing to do. You know, when you're a dad, you can fix everything with super glue. Done that a couple times. Got a choice to make about how I'm gonna display this. I still don't, still don't know. I mean, it's bigger than my ad at, right? So where do you stick a giant X-wing? I saw that you can get like a mounting arm. So like you can put it on the wall and it's like one of those uh, movable brackets like you put a TV on, really. And then I'd mount the X-Wing on top of that and maybe stick it in a corner. Problem is, I have a house with two sons and they have things like Nerf guns and balls. So <laughs> where, where, do you put, where do you put dad's X-Wing? so that uh, nothing bad happens to it. That's, that's always the case. But uh, let's jump into the update and we'll show you what's going on. Okay, I've been bouncing around between issues because I'm just impatient and I wanna put like all the, the outer shell, the skin on the X-Wing. So in issue 95, I put the bottom plate, so this bottom plate on the rear. And I don't normally like to keep the X-Wing down on its belly because it doesn't have landing gear, so it kind of makes everything all wobbly. But screwed this on in six screws. That means next up, we're gonna take this, which is the hyperdrive fuselage, and we're gonna stick it right in that slot. So the curved part goes to the top. That's where um, the R2 unit will be housed. Okay, and so that's what it looks like all locked together. But now I'm learning that this piece right here, this outer shell that's holding the hyperdrive fuselage on, it's only held by two little magnets down here at the bottom, which means there's no support all the way up here, which means all you have to do is just kind of pull down and all of this falls out, which I guess, you know, if you're thinking about this as a 3D model and you're trying to like explore all the different aspects of the X-Wing, a lot of these pieces come off with magnets and then you can explore the components underneath, but I would kind of just wish it wouldn't come apart and it would just all stay together, but that's just me. So the other two panels that connect with magnets so far are these two, the first of which is the battery housing that goes right there. But um, I, I get it, you know, you wanna have ease of access to your battery, but I wouldn't have minded pulling this off with a screw. I've, I've taken uh, battery panels off with a screwdriver before, but I guess they didn't want it to be seen, right? They don't want any screws to be seen, so you're covering up the screws, I get that. And then the other one is the torpedo bay. So that one is underneath a couple of magnets and of course that locks right there. Problem with the magnets is it doesn't line up flush for me at least on the sides. There's still a little gap when you're looking at the side of the X-Wing. There's just that little slight gap because the magnets don't hold it like you know completely flush. And then in issues 96 and 97 I built these two parts. This is the back of the X-Wing. This is the S-foil servo actuator and I'll take this um, cap and put it over this right here. It's still, this is still a white portion. Uh, it's all exposed on the X-Wing model. I'll screw this in place with these two screws and then put this as a cap over it to hide the screws. And so we'll do that next. And so this is what this looks like. Um, I'm seeing a lot of this little crackage, we'll call it, <laughs> where the seams don't actually line up. Um, pushed as hard as I could. Some of these seams, they just don't, it just doesn't all come together. And it's probably just due to my inability to be a good model builder, but uh, I'm gonna call it battle damage, I guess. That's <laughs> So I've installed all this along the top, made sure that I got R2 in place, and then the cockpit installed all those uh, little 2B wires things. So really the only thing I have left to do is put the canopy on and then decide if I'm gonna put the uh, landing gear on, built the front, landing gear right here, but then I just have the two more bottom landing gear. Yeah, bottom two landing gear and the cockpit install, and then it's all finished. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. Got lots more fun Star Wars stuff coming up. Excited to show you uh, things, and I hope you're watching 
the new season of The Mandalorian. It's awesome. Awesome. Did you love that last, uh, like, dogfight pilot super laser battle that was in the asteroids? That was, that was awesome. That was so, so, so good. Uh, I think the season's off to a great start. Love The Mandalorian. Love it, love it, love it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. May the Force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.